Hey everybody, it's Nintube64 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, I left you off with very little health, so I'm gonna go heal up. And am I all well and it doesn't make a really annoying sound? Now, you'll notice. Hey, there's no water. So what you need to do is ask this guy. Right, it is a shash for life. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of the thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Which pretty much means... Leave, use the magic mirror, and... Yeah. Pretty much. That's all it means. So, go to the light world. And go do some stuff. Don't you love being invincible when you're in not invincible, invisible? You know what? I actually do want to use powder on it. I I wanted to pick that up with my thingy, with my net. You, you just made me very sad, game. Why would you do that? Eh, <sighs> anyways. That's okay. Just don't go into your sparkles and enter here. You'll notice there is water now, so you can swim here, which is a wonderful thing now. Just it's really good to be at full health here because for some reason I like the first time I ever played this game, I died a ton here. And hey, 26 rupees. And what are you? Small key, that's quite useful. I'll just go in here, and yeah. Now we are going to need to bomb here. Oh shoot. You best not get on my bad side. And I can't shoot the lasers anymore, which is kind of sad. And go to the front of here, not the side. You can't open chests from the sides. That doesn't make sense. And we'll get them out. And wow, I'm, I'm really bad. Hey, heart back. Ah. And anyways, you're going to want to go to the south, and there will be somewhere a skull that has a key under it. That's a bomb. And shoot. I'm taking all the hits in the world. I suck. Anyways, you're going to want to go through this door and defeat all the enemies. Not the fire. Fire, don't hit me. I, Ryan, don't die. And oh, I don't have the arrows equipped anymore. I suck. Yep, Ryan, don't try to not die. Hey, that's magic. It won't really be that useful. Why am I failing? Actually, I know why I'm failing. Actually, no, I don't. But I'm just going to be stupid and use the arrows. Now we're safe. <clears throat> now go down here, go up and grab the skull for god's sakes. Skull, pick up into my arms. Ah, I thought there might have been a drop from it, but there was not. Now let's just go here, get the key under the skull, and head back south. Now we can go through the locked door to the north in here. And defeat the Stalfos, hopefully. Yeah, Stalfos, they're quite easy. And yay, recovery heart. <clears throat> Not near as rare as they are in Isaac, though. My gosh. That game, I suck at it. But hey, that was working pretty well. And now, I'm actually going to use a bomb here to just show you that it's not really anything useful you get in this room. I'm just showing you. Woohoo! Two chests that contain a bomb and a blue rupee. Five cents for the sake of all that time. Not particularly worth it. Still no drop in here. That makes me sad. 
And going into the next next room, we are treated to this beautiful thing. Oh shoot! Don't do it, Ryan. Don't die. These enemies are actually quite annoying. And one sec, I'm back. Now, no, climb back up. You don't want to get hit by the. Why is it that it, they stop moving when you're in there? And wow, Ryan. Oh, did you just do that, Ryan? Did you just do that? <sighs> Cutting back there. Okay, I'm back. And lacking only one heart, so maybe this will go better. Now I'm just gonna head south, hit you, and dodge the I don't know spiny turtle, and go back to laser sword form and wait for you to come out or not. Hey, red ruby, I like that. And another heart, and head north. Now when you push this, it'll make a chest appear, which will give you the compass. The compass is very useful, because, you know, it shows you where all the stuffs are. So, yeah. Now we're on to actually do the stuff you have to do in this fight, in this dungeon. One, you have to avoid being hit. But... Once you go through the southwest door, you're apparently immune to damage from the fire guy when you're standing at that location. I didn't know that, actually. I don't know why I didn't move. I was looking away from the screen for a second. I'm dumb because I hit that there. And Let's see. Can I get any recovery hearts? I can get one of them. Can I get two of them? No. No dice. Anyways, you want to... Uh, Head down here and I believe go to the north. My memory isn't perfect, but it's decent. Uh, that seemed to work because it did get us a key. Now what do we do? I believe we go back to the big room now. I might be entirely wrong. I believe we go back here, head north. And yeah, my memory is serving correctly. Thank Thankfully, we aren't having too much trouble with those guys, and I believe there's a lever in this room. Yes! That's how you make it work. And what you do is... Oh, there's a red lever. I'm stupid. That's a really annoying noise. I believe what you're supposed to do is diagonal... Um, diagonaling it like this go through and push the leave air and it will allow water to flow so that wasn't too difficult of a puzzle and can I go straight down yes because I have dodging skills and all the strats in the universe Anyways, just swimmeth here. Swim here like little Timmy. What, wait, why am I saying like little Timmy? I'm not little Timmy. And I'm going to go to the skull even though I'm at full health. And there isn't really much that I desire from it. Great, a heart. I could have picked that up later. I should have picked that up later. But hey, we're at the laser sword mode. So I'm happy. This laser sword is a happy time. Somehow we didn't take damage from that, and I want you to go away first. And, you know, I'm just gonna jump. And we are out of laser sword fun times. Which is mildly depressing, but you will learn to live with it, and we need to make this area full of water now. I see. Oh, I, I messed that up horribly wrong. So what you need to do is exit, then go back in. And outrun the fire, of course. Because outrunning flames is a wonderful thing. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, I see what to do. Uh, you guys probably want me to cut this out. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that anymore. When I die, I'll cut out getting back to where I am, but other than that, not my style. That was simple enough, I just suck. Um, so yeah. Come on, up the stairs. And push this Eastified. And wow, the void taking damage of all sorts. And come on, dodge, Ryan. Don't be stupid, Ryan. We do get three hearts of recovery there, which is pretty decent. Now just avoid the water thing that I don't believe can go off the water. And I wish I could shield myself from, but I can't for some reason because this game is so un unforgiving. I'm just for joking, this game isn't too unforgiving. Now I believe what we do here is... Yep, go down here, and what do we get? Are you a... Uh... Oh, that... That pissed me off. So let's go down the right hole next time. By that, I mean the one on the right, like the actual correct hole. I mean the correct hole, and the one on the right. <sighs> yeah, for some reason this is blind semi, because I haven't played this part of the game near as much as other parts of the game. So yes, I am using that as an excuse. And on the right side... Oh wow, I need to hit the switch to go through there. So that means more backeth trackingeth, backeth tracketh, I guess. But you know, this is. Yeah, this dungeon is blind. Like, this dungeon, for some reason, I didn't do. So there's so much backeth tracketh right here. I hope you guys don't really mind. You shouldn't mind, because, like, you know, it makes it a better experience. Now, just to wait then kill you, and diagonal ring it. Now I'll go over here, and go back to that room, just to get the secret item. Or not the secret item, the... well they're called secret items, but it's like just to get to the item of the dungeon. Yeah, why are they called secret when, for the most part, they're pretty, I don't know, required? Ah, it doesn't make much sense, but I don't care. Now, back to that point. Head up. And, yeah. Now we can go through there all the way. And can I make it? Yes. Now when we fall through here, we should be able to advance right to the door this time. And there are five skulls which appear to just be giving us money. And I don't mind money. Money's good. And we do get the big key, so... I guess I just need to head out to the large room now, because that is where the hookshot is. Yeah, I know the hookshot's the item of this dungeon. That's about it. It's kind of funny, actually. That's pretty much all I know about the dungeon. But, just swim to the right. Then dodge the fire. Shoot. That's no good. And let's go grab that hook shot. And. Boing! This is the. One sec. Here? Yes, ma'am. I'm back. Boing. This is the hookshot. It extends and contracts, and boing. It can grapple many things. Okay, now that we have the hookshot, we can do a lot of stuff because this is a very good item. And also, staying up here, you're pretty much safe for the most part. You can pick up stuff and just go to all the good places. Can we actually reach the chest there? Nope, gonna have to jump down. But yeah, this is a really good item. Really useful. And you're gonna enjoy having it because I believe we can. Yes, bookshop. 
here. Pick up skulls. Do you have any recovery hearts? Of course not skulls. You're trolls. And now what we need to do is go to the west. And push. Nope. No. Don't die. Ah, thank you for the heart. But push this statue onto the futon and hmm I believe what we need to do is go through the middle north door and as always kill kill scalpos and kill them quickly come on scalpos Finally, it's dead. Now, come on, flying thing, get out from under there. Really? Am I gonna have to use my hook shot to kill you? No, I can't because you're. Ah, uh, you don't know how much you irk me right now. Really? Enemy, why do you cheat? Enemy, don't cheat. Thank you. Now, when you're in a safish position. Ah, shoot. Cutting. It's in my stupidity that I realized we didn't actually have to beat all these enemies, and that actually took a long time to get past. Now, we need to go down the floor and push the. Ah, shoot. I went the wrong way. I'm stupid. I hope you guys don't mind the selfie becoming retardedly bad as opposed to just the normal poor quality it was before. So, if we kill you again, and yeah, I usually heal up after I die, so I get the sword lasers back, but Hookshot itself is a very good weapon. Pretty much replaces your bow for a while, because, well, it's so good. Just charge! Hey, how did I not take damage from that fire? You know, whatever the reason, I don't mind. I don't like taking damage from fire. I don't really like taking damage, period. And yeah, just go through here. And now I believe we are, are on the floor basement 2. Push this, and of course, I'm gonna go down here and check what this skull is. It's a heart. That's useless. At the moment. Now, let's go west. And then north. Now we should be on basement one if memory serves. And hey, red ruby. I don't have max rupees, and there's still useful stuff to buy. Now, I believe we have to go into one of these. No. Yes. And I believe when we go north. Ah, oh, shoot. Hey, you gave me a heart, though. You're a friend. There. Now what's under the skulls? Bombs. I'm assuming we need to use those in the next room. So, uh, let's go to the south, it seems. And I do want to know what's in those. That might be something useful. So... I have a feeling there's something we need in that skull, so I'm a... Really? You... you... can't... Really? That's an annoying design idea. When you... Hey, you helped me get up there. I like you. So you don't have to die, and you know, I'm gonna see. Can a bomb blow you guys up? No, it can't. Hmm, this is really quite annoying. And I do think I'm gonna check out what's in those pots. So, yeah, that was pro strats of swimming. So talented. And hopefully there are some hearts. No, 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 no. Hey! I have hearts now, I'm happy. Now, let's go in 
to what I think might be the boss. Yes, this is the boss. It's actually a pretty easy boss. Let's see, what's the name? And actually, with a sword beams, you can do it easy too. Just get. Do that, and it's really quite simple. Just stay away from him. Come on, man. I don't want to be near you. Because the lower health he has, he actually has less of an ability to defend himself, which is different than most Zelda bosses. Generally, they do more damage and hurt you more when they are at low health, but he... Or, technically this isn't help, this is just his shield, the first phase of the fight. The hardest part of the first phase is the very beginning. Like, it's a phase within a phase, because the more of them you kill, the easier it is. Megan, why do you have shaving cream all over your hand? Don't put it on my face! Why are you, put it, why are you putting mousse in my hair, Megan? I, I'm recording a video right now. Hi, Internet. I have a weird sister who desires to put moose in my hair, even though I don't, it's only like an inch and a half long. It looks beautiful, Megan. That's because I just ran my fingers through it. I don't need it thinned out. I know I have thick hair, but I love my beautiful thick hair. It is beautiful and gorgeous, and you cannot change me. And now, in this phase of the fight, you just want to hit him with your arrows, I believe. So, don't you love interrupting my recordings, Megan? Or maybe your sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try the sword. It works. Just prepare a spin attack and do that. So just always have your spin attack prepared, and when he comes near you, like here. He'll be defeated, and hey, what do we get here? What do we get here? Our container. And the crystal. So, after very much, very much, so much failure, I think I'm gonna end it off. After, of course, reading all the text. And yeah, this is actually the first episode I've recorded live of this LP. I'm going to start doing that from now on, even if it makes a commentary worse. Ryan, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the golden land, only a select few knew of its location. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who re rediscovered the golden land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return the light world. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You were the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? I uh, know you were speaking French, I don't speak French. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And we're fully healed, and they boot us out of the dungeon. So next time, we're gonna do the... Actually, you know that piece of art I said I was gonna wait till the very end to do? I, did, I lied, I'm not gonna wait till the very end to do. We'll get that heart piece. We'll get a, another heart piece, I think. And we're gonna go to the next dungeon and maybe do part of it. So see you guys next episode.